Hey guys, wanted to take a little walk today to picture some more footage for the documentary about the anomalies in 19th century construction and buildings. So I hope I'll get some more evidence today. And thanks for following my channel uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video so I started from the Kievsky station I'm gonna return to this object a little bit later it's very interesting and I already had a walk from this place towards the center of the city and you can find the link in the right top angle if you never watched it and this is a view on the, on the place where in the direction and where I'm going as you can see uh, in the left angle you have some type of church it's where I'm going today as you guys can see there's probably some signs of ex excavation but this is not the object of my research today I'm looking for some evidence of mud flutters and stuff like this. These waves on the ornaments of the houses uh, sometimes just point us, uh, look guys, I'm the mud flood house. But sometimes, uh, like this bank, it's just an ornament because it's 1917 and it's definitely after the mud flood or it could be reconstructed who knows maybe the designers copied the design to show us that the this is the pre-flood house like this house is reconstructed but we can see the windows through through the walls they just bricked up and you know painted but nothing helps like here you have like a pure evidence of bricked up walls and the change of uh, entrance. As you can see, plenty of mud flutters are on the way. Some of them even mm, designed to look a little bit different than they were before. But you can't change the mud flutter. You're still going to have to have the evidence of the buried windows. Sometimes you see like a decent house, but if you look below, you see the vent shafts and the closed windows. Sometimes vent shafts even look ugly. They don't, you know, deserve to be there. Or like this example. Looks like it was the entrance right now is made from some type of uh, window that was before. And this is just, you know, close to the hospital. And this guy is like definitely a mason looking type of guy. Look at his symbols. And in front of it, we have a kids hospital. And I'm gonna be returning to this topic of kids, asylums and hospitals and stuff like this. Very interesting. They often look like this red brick mud flutters.
And there's a bunch of red bricks in uh, in Moscow. As you can see, this is office center was used to be a factory or something. And I've seen some type of uh, a factory before, which is also right now an office center in a different place. And uh, this flashback, you know, flashbacked me to uh, show it to you. So as you can see, I was looking, uh, watching this house, which was supposed to be a basement, but it turns to be excavated first floor from the back side. And also you can see the basement is really here. So we have like two, at least one buried floor, or maybe even more. And this factory also to the side, supposed to be a cookie factory, uh, a very old one. The, uh, the the beginning of uh, 20th century, the end of 19th century. So uh, it was reconstructed and right now it's office center. So I decided to step in and check out the windows here and voila, I see the buried windows. It's clear to see how they made this phony uh, le letter uh, on the second floor to the <laughs> through the windows, you know. And uh, if you step to the left, you can see that uh, this is the huge line of excavated first floor. And actually, the entrance is below here. So a minute ago I was uh, checking it out from the left side, right now it's to the left from here. So I decided to step inside the office center and see, yes, there's more excavated evidence. And all this parking spot in the middle, which right now I'm standing on, this huge parking spot. So. Definitely there was a bunch of space there so they could, could, you know, just excavate and do it underground. As you can see this elevator to the parking lot. Very interesting decision to create it this way and not hide the windows at all, use it, excavate them and use them, you know, why not? Next building also has the excavation signs. So this white line used to be buried and uh, right now it has basement. You know, I can see it and you can see it definitely uh, in, in, on the left side. I'm gonna show it again. So this definitely excavated area as you can see. Right now I'm standing uh, on, on the level of the second floor so this is just you know slight decline towards the building okay Yeah, an entrance from the windows makes sense. <laughs> I hope you liked it. So this is just the same that as what I was, you know, filming. And uh, also a bunch of red bricks, a bunch of windows and a buried excavated first floor. 
so everything is the same they, le they learn how to use it because Moscow real estate is very expensive symbolism of flood is on the most of the pre-flood buildings and we can see it everywhere I hope you can find this symbolism of waves and flood uh, on, on your buildings in your town send me the pictures of the best you got I'll be glad to check it out So as I'm walking towards the, this Novodevichy monastery I should film some evidence here Maybe it's not yet hidden You know, I've been a couple of times here, everything seems to be fine, but this time I've seen that uh, they have an excavation um, uh, uh, along the wall to the right of the entrance and some building being excavated to the right and I said, oh please, would it, would it be like, you know, evidence of a mud flood? And uh, yes, it finally uh, showed the entrance to the left we see the entrance f through the wall, so the walls had some type of entrances, as you can see. And it was hidden some, some type of building also below there that should have an uh, entrance and they excavated it and right now what are they doing is, uh, you know, re trying to rebuild the entrance. And uh, the ground itself was excavated from the wall so I could see that it was, you know, used to be a lot deeper before. So probably it got buried from the inside and everything. Like, for example, this building is not uh, just a basement. It's a buried first and maybe second floors. Who knows? So the height of, uh, of uh, the trench amongst the walls is very big. So uh, probably at least eight meters deep and uh, we can see it could be why not because they have shops below there so probably the shops have the basements and the place itself looks very old really old because it has like a bunch of little symbolism flood and stuff like this waves and it was very you know interesting if they were hidden all those rocks that were uh, laying around there in the site and yet still ro still some rocks are available those old and pre-flood rocks from the graves they don't have any dates and anything like this that could be significant because they are destroyed and uh, all you can read looks like little fragments of uh, unacknowledgeable texts so nothing very significant like a date or anything so nothing here but still it's very interesting why are they not recognizing them as uh, historical evidence just you know laying on the ground think about it
yeah, almost everything is under reconstruction in this monastery. But I hope I can find some uh, non-copyright footage of this tower. As you can see, it's pretty big. Could be easily uh, work as an atmospheric electricity catcher and stuff. Therefore, you have like this huge church over here. Joseph would be working as a generator. Very interesting, anyways. Small vent shaft everywhere. Church also looks to be mud flooded. As you can see, a bunch of stuff going on there. The way it is. You know, each and every year they reconstruct and reconstruct and reconstruct. I've been posting a map of the lost buildings of the pre-flood buildings on my Instagram and Facebook page. It's like hundreds and hundreds of buildings are lost each each like decade, each 20 years. And we won't find this evidence anymore. So I decided I'll just, you know, keep filming and filming and filming. That's the wall I was walking inside. So as you can see, it's pretty big. It's probably as huge as Kremlin wall, or even more tall. But the interesting is, just like in Kremlin, everything inside looks to be buried. So it doesn't make any sense. That's great evidence, I think. What do you think? Write me in the comments. Yeah, guys, even the ducks know that something is definitely strange in this construction. So I hope you liked my report today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye.